Hello everyone, welcome to part 125 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website. So we will continue working on the Laravel login and register process. And in this video, we are going to work on the remember me functionality for the user login. Okay, so once again, we are going to work on this remember me functionality. This is now becoming very important functionality because it will store the username and password in cookies uh, so that the user can uh, is not required to fill uh, the username and password again okay in fact we are going to use it for email and password okay so see uh, this email and password will get autofill like it is autofilling uh, with some add-ons or i have already saved it but this one uh, will preserve many uh, of your email and password and if we have also done this one at the admin panel earlier on uh, we are going to check its admin where we have already integrated this okay see the same thing is coming here uh, but here uh, we will make it different okay so don't worry the same thing is coming here because of the cookies uh, but we are going to use the different cookies here so that it will not autofill this admin admin will autofill here in admin only okay so here it's already working you can see uh, remember me it's already fucking working in the uh, in the admin panel you can able to see that uh, we are already using this in admin panel and now we are going to integrate this in our uh, at front end as well in user login form okay so uh, let's open the login blade file straight away uh, this is my product folder and i'm going to open the login blade file that is located in front users folder okay so i will go here down and here i'm going to see okay email and password are given and along with the here you can see the checkbox of remember me here i'm also going to add name also and remember me this is the different name that we have used in admin login admin login uh, we have used the remember id and name uh, remember name okay so i'm going to open the admin login as well so that uh, uh, I, I can show you that we are using the different name and ID okay so I am going to open the admin login as well uh, there we have used the remember okay so I'm going to show you uh, here you can see this is the checkbox here in the admin login we have used remember uh, as a name as well as the ID but now we have used the remember me as a ID as well as the name okay along with that we are going to use this one as well see whenever there is some cookie coming as a email means email is already set as a cookie then we are going to uh, check this one okay then we are going to check this uh, remember me okay so but here uh, we will use the different uh, uh, different variable here i'm going to use this but here i am i will not use this one i am going to use something like uh, user email like this okay user email i'm going to use so here i'm going to update uh, at the uh, function as well i'm going to open here the user controller in user controller here we are login user and here we are going to add uh, the code okay so uh, here i one more thing i want to do here like uh, this is our email as well as the password so i'm going to uh, set the value here like uh, uh, value here I'm going to set uh, okay so value in PHP I'm going to set in PHP let me close in PHP okay for email I am going to uh, check in cookies that uh, if there is any cookie come uh, is set dollar uh, underscore cookie cookie like this okay here the variable will come I'm going to take here the user email in uh, instead of email I'm going to take the user email here we have taken the email okay here you can see that we have taken the email but here I have taken the user email okay if the user email is coming if the user email is there in the cookies then we are going to show its value here okay then uh, we are going to type its value here echo and uh, this one dollar cookie user email we are going to print inside the value like this okay so this one and the same thing uh, this uh, value code i'm going to copy when we'll paste in 
inside the password as well and here instead of email we are going to write the user password okay so now in the user controller here i am going to write the code uh, I, uh, here i am going to first add the command remember me uh, remember user sorry user email and password okay so here i am going to check if not empty i am going to pick dollar data remember me that is coming uh, from the checkbox okay if it is not empty then we are going to set cookie uh, okay we are going to set cookie user email first one is the user email user email this is the first cookie we are going to set for the email and email is coming in total dollar data email this one we are already using this okay so this is the first cookie that we are going to set and the time see we are going to set its time as well okay so time we are going to set for the uh, 3600 second in second 3600 second for 3600 second we are going to set its time and it is 3600 second you can measure it like uh, uh, seconds to minutes and we can measure it like 3600 second is 60 minutes for one hour okay for one hour we are going to set its cookie and in the same way we are going to set its password as well user password and in password as well uh, password is coming in data password here you can see password as well and that's set for the 36 under second as well means one hour okay so uh, if it is not set if the remember me checkbox is not checked at that time uh, we are going to empty uh, the uh, these these cookies we are going to empty the user email and we are going to empty the user password as well okay so now we are going to try let's see that it will work or not i'm going to refresh it and see uh, still it is filling this but uh, we are going to use now different email id like i'm going to use here the amit uh, whatever uh, i'm going to check uh, in localhost that uh, email which email we have already registered uh, our product is product 10 and we are going to check its users table and here i'm going to check the email like amit hunter at the rate of uopmail.com i'm going to pick this email amit hunter at the rate of uopmail.com will use one two three four five six as password i'm going to check this remember me click on login okay so we have logged in you can see we have logged in now i am logging out and i expect that username and password must be filled okay let's see see sign out and here you can see instead of um, admin at the rate of admin.com this time we can able to see amit hunter at the rate of uopmail.com as the email and password is also auto set uh, and now we can just click on login user can just click on login user is not required to do anything else user is not required to fill the email and password again he can simply click on login to reach its account okay you can see the user directly reached to the card page after just clicking uh, after just one click only just one click is required he just clicks on login button to reach his account to reach the card page okay so you can see now the user can sign out once again and his pre-filled details will be always active okay active for at least one hour okay so now you can even increase the time if you want to like for 10 hours means 20 hours for two days you can just simply require to increase this okay uh, now we are going to try with uh, some other email id okay so uh, here i'm going to try with some uh, other email id like amit thousand at the rate of uopmail.com okay so i'm going to try with this one amit thousand at the rate of uopmail.com and once again i'm going to use the remember me click on login and now this time uh, i'm going to see uh, sign out and now you can see the amit thousand has come up this time okay instead of amit hundred now we can see the amit thousand okay so uh okay so now uh, see i'm going to change its password as well okay i will log into the account and i'm going to change its password uh 
see though in though we have not done that functionality i'm going to change its password from here i'm going to open its website uh, from this website i'm going to generate the new password like i will uh, just give one 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 okay and we'll encrypt here this uh, this i will copy encrypt okay i'm going to put this one this i will copy and we'll put in uh, a thousand okay i'm going to put this one so i'm going to log in with this password that we have just uh, uh, make its hash function for the password to make it secure now i'm going to use uh, i'm going to log out and we'll use a thousand once again with this updated password and this time i'm going to use this updated password i'm going to remove this one and we'll use this updated password okay and now login okay it's working fine uh, see this one i'm not going to use this one okay so i will log out once again and this time i'm going to log in and let's see yes it's login it's not only login with the one two three four five six it's uh, it's getting login with the different password as well so i will remove the remember me now okay and we'll uh, try to log in with some other password like one two three four five six okay try to log in it is showing the wrong email or password okay i will refresh and uh, we'll remove this one uh, try to log in and now see i will not uh, use it and click on sign on once again and now see uh, we'll try to log in once again see now it is saying the you have entered wrong email or password because it forgot the password now see it is just using the one two three four five six as the password from somewhere else uh, that is stored in cookies uh, from somewhere else but it is not showing the correct password its correct password is one 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 uh, that we have just uh, used one 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 okay so now see autofill is not working see here it is showing the wrong email or password i am going to put the right password one 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 so i can log in now this time it is working but again if i sign out and will try to log in again it will not work okay so for make it working we are required to use the remember me here and now we are going to put the uh, correct password one 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 okay so here i'm going to show you that i have filled that password one 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 here from here you can also test it that what password i have filled i'm going to make it type test here you can see one 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 now i'm going to log in with this password and now it will save this password now if i will try to log sign out and will try to sign in again see i'm not going to do anything see i'm we try to sign in again earlier on it is not uh, uh, it is showing the wrong email or password now it uh, now we able to sign in with the correct password so you can able to sign in as many times as you want okay our password is now filled in cookies so like this uh, the user can able to store the data in cookies and user is not required to fill the username and password again okay so uh, this memory me functionality works like this so you can put anywhere in the website like we have put in admin now we have put in user login form as well you can put it in other places as well okay so i hope that you can do this thing at your end now see we have covered this thing as well uh, one more thing i'm going to add this point here uh, remember what is happening remember me functionality functionality for user login okay so this one is also done now one more video will come and that is the forgot forgot password okay so see forgot password uh, though it will not come in this process but uh, yeah we are not going to do this one in process so from next video uh, this, this one is the complete now okay uh, okay so this one is complete now oh, so see this one is now complete uh, uh, so now from the next video we will work on this forgot password and this time we will not do the simple part of forgot password we will use the forgot password process complete process the confirmation process that is the valid process that every website use like amazon 
and other website use like uh, once you will click on forward okay uh, then uh, it will ask your email id then you are going to put your right email id then it, it will send you the confirmation email that this email belongs to you you will get the confirmation you will click on that email then you can able to generate the new password of your own so that is the valid uh, forward password process that we are going to use that every brand company uh, almost uh, across the world okay amazon and other big companies use that thing that process that we are going to do okay we will try to finish it in one video maybe it will take two videos let's see okay please stay tuned for that and do subscribe as well as join the channel okay if you have not subscribed the channel then please subscribe youtube.com stack developers okay you can subscribe it and you can join it as well to get the complete source code so that you will not stuck it anywhere okay you can uh, just uh, see uh, you can uh, keep in touch with me on my facebook account i'm going to provide my facebook account to my members and also you can email me anytime if you will stuck anywhere so i will make sure that you will not stuck anywhere okay and also now the app is available for android okay very soon i app will also available for iphone right now app is available for the android uh, so you can simply open the google play store okay uh, from anywhere from your mobile you can simply search for the google play store and 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 download uh, you can download the two of the app one is the stack developers you can simply search the stack developers here okay after search searching for stack developer you can open this one and you can simply download this app it will be helpful when whenever you are uh, you are traveling and you have time then you can uh, simply uh, uh, follow any of the course okay uh, and also you can follow the another app that is site makers app uh, in which you can follow any of the series okay uh, you can just open the site makers okay it, it's got the five star rating okay from my friends okay so uh, you can uh, also install it and many useful features in this app that will help you to follow any of these series okay and uh, you will find it really easy okay so uh, so i hope uh, that uh, you will do that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye